Right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's live demo on using cloth nappies when out and about. So we have people come to us saying that they are happy using cloth nappies, but um, they don't really know what cloth nappies to use out and about and how many nappies to pack. So I'm going to go over with you today a successful day out with cloth nappies. So what do you need when you're using cloth nappies out and about? So obviously you're going to need your changing bag and your changing mat. Um, you're also going to need to ensure that you pack enough nappies to last you. I'll go over the amount expected um, in a minute in a bit more detail. I would also pack one spare, um, possibly even two if you're going to be out for um, a long period of time. I would pack a nappy bag. This is a large size nappy bag and I found that one of these lasted me all day. You're going to need your reusable wipes or your disposable wipes. If you do use reusable wipes and you um, pre-soak them, you're going to need to put them in a bag to ensure uh, that they don't get anything else wet. Or if you carry around dry wipes, and you're not going to be near water for access to wet them, then carry around a little water bottle of uh, a little spray water bottle and you can um, wet the wipes just before you use them. You don't need to worry about a uh, reusable wipe bag um, for when you've used them because you can just stick them into your nappy bag. Okay, so um so that's what you need for your day out what kind of nappies should you use i would always if you can go for a two-part natural material nappy just because a two-part nappy system made from bamboo um hemp or even cotton is going to be the most absorbent nappy you can use and it's going to have wonderful containment as well. Um, with the two part nappy, you can boost. So basically, with this two part nappy on a day out, you're not going to get compression leaks like with microfiber. With just the one standard booster that comes with the nappy, uh, this is the bamboozle nappy, but also the um, B next nappies come with them as well. Um, this is going to last you without any problems for say four hours. Okay, it could last you longer. It could last you maybe a bit less of time. This is just approximate um, given uh, time frames here. But you've also got the advantage of adding the extra boosters. And actually, one of these nappies, even though you're not going to, one of these nappies could last you for twelve hours. Hence why we also recommend using them overnight. Okay, so if you can, always go with a bamboo or a hemp or a cotton two-part nappy. Now then, the reason why I say go for one of those sort of when if baby's going to be in the car for a long period of time, in a sling or in a pushchair, is because if you go for something like a microfiber nappy, Microfiber is wonderful at quickly absorbing we, but microfiber acts a bit like a sponge. So if you've got a baby who sat down or is laying down for a long period of time, once this microfiber becomes full, it's going to soak out and it's going to create leaks. So if you are going to use a microfiber nappy, you're going to have to change a lot more frequently and say, for example, your car journey is an hour long and baby sat in the same microfiber nappy, that may actually be enough time um, for the nappy to leak. OK. So um, if you haven't got any two part nappies, then go with your all in one natural fiber nappies or your natural fibre um, pocket nappies. P 
pocket nappy is probably better than the all-in-ones purely because with the pocket nappy pocket nappies generally come with the two inserts and so what you can do is you normally only use the one insert during the day for that extra piece of um, absorbency slip um, both of the inserts in okay with the um, all-in-one bamboo or all-in-one hemp nappies, um, mm. yes, you could add a booster to them to give them more absorbency, but you're going to affect the uh, leg circumference if you add too many. But we'll go into that into a bit more detail later. Okay, so let's think about, let's say, for example, you're going to go and visit friends and family for the day and they live an hour away. So for that car journey, you're going to need your two-parter nappy system. OK, so you're going to go for your bamboo, your cotton or your hemp. You're going to ensure that the insert they come with stays inside the nappy put your stay dry liner if you wish in there as well and your nappy wrap over the top that will last you then you when you arrive at your destination if you know that baby's not going to be in a sling a push chair sat down because they're going to be freely running around or crawling whatever they're doing at your friend's family house then go for whatever you want microfiber natural fabrics fitted all in one it's fine, but on your car journey home, opt for that two-parter again. If you haven't got two-parters, you haven't got a natural material all-in-one, a natural um, pocket nappy, you only have microfiber nappies, what are you going to do? What you could do, right, this is a Mio Solo, okay? So this is um, an all-in-one and it's microfiber. If I was going to put my baby in one of these, and I know they're going to be sat down for a long period of time, so for example in the car, I would add either a bamboo or a hemp booster. And this is going to give you that extra protection in the hope that your microfiber nappy isn't going to leak. What I would do, I would take out the microfiber insert from the Mio Solo. I would get my bamboo or hemp booster. I would put it in the little flap. And then when I put it back inside the nappy, I'll ensure that I've got my stay dry liner. I then have the microfiber material. And then I have the bamboo touching the actual wrap. So you've got the microfiber there absorbing the wee away from the baby, but you've got that an additional natural piece of booster from stopping um, a compression wicking effect occurring. OK, and then if you have a microfiber pocket nappy, what you could actually do instead of using two microfiber inserts like I suggested with the bamboo or hemp pocket nappies only still use one of the microfiber inserts but again add a booster inside the pocket and actually in fact if you're using a slimline booster say for example um, a little lamb or Ella's house hemp boosters you could probably actually get away with two of them because two boosters is probably the equivalent of uh, one uh, microfiber insert. Um, and again, I've lost my second booster. Never mind, it's probably still in the nappy. But so I've got two uh, boosters here. I've got my microfiber insert. And again, when I put it inside the pocket, I would ensure you have your stay dry liner. You have your uh, microfiber insert and then you have the natural material actually the one furthest away from baby skin so the one touching the uh the waterproof wrap okay so hopefully that will give you enough protection to last your car journey if for example you haven't got any boosters and again just the microfiber nappies and you would like to use cloth when out and about 
and you haven't got um you can't get your hands on uh getting a booster how about using an old cloth terry cotton cloth okay just use it exactly the same way as you would with the boosters so you can fold it over and you can place it inside the nappy if you find that folding um, a flannel in half is too bulky for an all-in-one nappy then just cut it but if you haven't got any old flannels an old tea towel will do or even an old towel you could cut up and you can make your boosters okay so if you're going to be out and about um, all day and babies either going to be in their car seat their sling or their push chair again you know what i'm going to say go for the two-parter system because this will last if you don't have the two-parter system and again we're going to rely on microfiber nappies definitely boost okay because a baby sat in a push chair a car seat or a sling all day microfiber nappies unfortunately just aren't up for the job you're also even if you are going to boost with the microfiber nappy you're going to have to change more frequently which is fine you're just going to have to carry more nappies around with you so let's say um baby is in a two-part nappy system uh my uh a bamboo or a hemp one or a cotton one i would say that three to four hours is absolutely fine and then the more boosters you add the longer it will go if for example they're in a all-in-one uh, natural material so for example the blueberry simplex you're <laughs> probably about three hours if they're in a microfiber and the microfiber isn't boosted with any ma natural material, then you're possibly looking at a max of just two hours. With a booster, a natural fabric booster inside, then possibly two and a half hours. I wouldn't want to risk any longer. Um, if you are just using microfiber nappies, that's that's okay just carry the extra ones and i actually had a little play around earlier today um and i think what did i work out so say for example baby's in a nappy nine o'clock um they go for an hour car journey in a microfiber nappy as soon as you arrive at your destination you change so that's one nappy so that's 10 o'clock 11 12 second nappy change two third nappy change uh four o'clock fourth nappy change uh six o'clock uh four uh, five so six o'clock fifth nappy change and then spare that's about six maybe seven nappies you need to carry around to be honest that isn't that much um what have i got here i've got one two three four five six nappies right six nappies in a changing bag that's okay that's not that many let me show you okay um so when you are out and about and you're changing your baby's nappy what are you going to do with it once you've changed it with a disposable if there's a nappy bin around it's easy just throw it in the uh, the bin cloth nappy is slightly different obviously so that, hold on a sec there you go look there's your six nappies. Doesn't take up much room. <laughs> so, right, changing cloth nappy. If you're using a paper liner and you have access to a toilet or a nappy bin, you can take the paper liner out and you can put it in the nappy bin, or you can flush the poo down the toilet and put in the uh, paper liner back inside. The nappy then just fold the nappy in half and what i also did as well if it was quite a pooey nappy i would fold in half again so you've kind of like rolled it over 
then just place it in your nappy wet bag. If you've got a reusable liner inside your nappy and baby's done a poo, if you have access to the toilet, get rid of the most poo. But if not, it's absolutely fine. Again, just fold it up, fold it in half again and stick it in your wet bag. These wet bags are designed not to smell, okay? So as long as when you put it in, you zip it up, it doesn't matter if you have a pooey nappy in there from nine o'clock in the morning and it's 9 p.m., it is not going to smell. You do not have to worry about people turning their noses up because they can smell a pongy <laughs> the smell coming from you, okay? And literally, when you get home, just take your nappies out of your wet bag and if you need to get rid of any poo, get rid of it at that stage. Or if you have a paper liner and you weren't able to dispose of it, dispose of that and then stick them in your um, your nappy bin ready for wash day. OK, so just to recap, ideally, if you can, two part nappy systems, natural fibres are the best. If you haven't got those, then have a look at if you have any all-in-one or pocket natural fibre nappies. If you haven't got any of those and you only have the microfiber, think about boosting. Either buy some bamboo or hemp boosters. Like I said, the Ellis House hemp boosters are a beautiful slim booster. Um, or if you haven't got those, then use an old flannel, an old tea towel, or even an old bath towel to just gain that extra absorbency. Okay, so I really hope that has helped and that's given people confidence uh, to go out when we can um, and use cloth nappies. Okay, take care everyone. Bye.